Merryception. So this is our new story for the week. It's called The Tiny Seed. I wonder who knows what a seed is. Oh, can you tell mummies and daddies? If you don't know, then a seed is a tiny part of the plant that falls off and then it grows into another plant. Shall we read the story then? It's about a, uh, it's from an author called Eric Carle and he writes lots of children's stories. He wrote um, The Very Hungry Caterpillar and he wrote The Bad Tempered Ladybird. So if you like this story, you might want to go and find out what other books he's written and you might like to read those too. So are we ready? Autumn, a strong wind is blowing. It blows the flower seeds high in the sky and it carries them across the land. One of the seeds is so much smaller than all the other seeds. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Where are they going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others, up, up. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. Oh no, but the tiny seed just sails on by with the other seeds. Oh no, too much sun is not good for, for, for seeds. And then another seed lands on a tall icy mountain and the seed cannot grow because it's too cold. So the rest of the seeds fly on. But the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. He's, he's a bit smaller, isn't he? Can you see the one on the mountain top? He doesn't grow either. Now they go fly over the ocean. Now the ocean is, the, is another word for sea. One seed falls into the water and drowns because too much water is not good for seeds. They can't grow. The other sails, the other seeds just sail on with the sea. But the tiny seed doesn't go as high as the other seeds. It stays close to the water. The other seeds drift on and on and they get to the desert. Oh, and it's very hot and dry in the desert and the seeds cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low and the wind pushes it and pushes it on and on with the others. You see, here we can see up. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently on the ground. And the tiny seed, oh sorry, a bird comes by and eats one of the seeds. Can you see? But the tiny seed is so small that it's not eaten because the bird cannot see it. Look, can you see where there it is? Can't you see? Oh, now it is winter. We know it's winter because we can see the snow. And after a long time and a very long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they're going to sleep in the earth. Can you see? And a white, soft blanket of snow falls on the ground. A hungry mice, mouse that also lives in the ground eats the seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed is so small and still that the mouse doesn't see it. it. Can you see there? It's eating the bigger ones instead. Yay! Now it's spring! And after a few months when the snow is melted, it is really spring. The birds fly by, the sun shines, the rain falls, the seeds grow. So round and full that they start to burst open a little bit. So the seeds are tight and then they start to open up. And then now they are plants and they have roots that are going down, down into the ground. And their little stems and leaves are poking up through the earth towards the sun and the earth. There is another plant 
and this one is a big fat weed and it grows a lot faster than the other plants so it blocks all the sunlight and the rain on one of the small plants it dies oh no the tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet it's still too small hurry up but finally it too starts to grow into a little little plant The warm weather also brings children out to play and they too are waiting for the sun and the springtime. One child doesn't even see the plants and he runs along and oh no, he breaks one with his foot. Now this one can't grow anymore because once that stem's been snapped and broken, it will die because it can't get the water out of the, out of the ground. Oh no. But the tiny plant that grows, grew from the tiny seed is growing faster. But the neighbour plant grows even faster before the tiny plant. And three leaves, he only has three leaves, but this big plant has seven. And look then has a flower but what is happening first there are footsteps and then there is a big shadow that looms over them then a hand reaches over and breaks the flower oh no this is why we mustn't pick flowers because once you pull them out of the ground they will eventually die because their roots have been broken off Oh no. A boy has picked a flower for his friend. I think he was just trying to do it a nice thing, wasn't he? And now it is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone, but it grows on and on and on, and it doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the uh, waters fall on it and it has many leaves and it grows taller and taller and soon it's taller than all the people. It's taller than the trees. It's taller than the houses and now a flower grows on it. People come from all over to come and look at this special flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower, oh, a bit like Jack, Jack's beanstalk. That was a giant beanstalk, wasn't it? And this one is a giant flower, which means it's huge, massive. All summer long, the birds and the bees and, and the butterflies come visiting the flower. And they've never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again and the days grow shorter and the nights get cooler and the wind carries the yellow and red leaves past the flower and it knocks some of the petals off the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and they fall down onto the ground. And the wind blows harder and the flower has now lost all of its petals. It sways and it bends from the wind and the wind grows stronger and stronger and it shakes the flower. Once the wind shakes the flower and this time the flower's seed pods open and out come the tiny seeds and quickly the seeds fly away in the wind and off they go on their special journey all over again right reception that's your story then for this week and you can watch that as many times as you want but now if you go over to seesaw there are some reading activities now there are three there's an easy activity 
um, a, a more challenging activity and then a trickier one and you can choose which one you would like to do and if it's too easy you can move on to the next one and if it's too hard you can go back to the easier one because uh, this one you're practicing your reading right off you go i'll see you later